Welcome back to this channel for practice problems for actuarial exams. My name is Krzysztof Ostaszewski. You can find information about me at smarturl.it forward slash Jedi. My advice on how to pass actuarial exams is at smarturl.it forward slash pass. This video channel is at smarturl.it forward slash pass actuarial exams. Here you have information about online seminars and study manuals for exams PFM, IFM and LTAM that I offer. I direct the actuarial program at Illinois State University. You can find information about it at smarturl.it forward slash actuary. If you would like to offer a tax deductible donation to support our students, please go to smarturl.it forward slash help ISU actuary. Here's a problem for today. For exam FM on financial mathematics, consider a bond with a par value of 1000 that pays annual coupons. This bond has 20 years to maturity. The coupon rate on this bond is 6.5%. The current market interest rate is 5% for all maturities. Assume that this bond is free of credit risk and not callable. Calculate the Macaulay duration of the bond. Choose the answer which is the closest to the exact value. And you have five choices. Well, we start by calculating the current price of the bond. It is a 65 I angle 20 at 5% plus 1000 times 1.05 to a negative 20, and this is just a basic franc formula, and that's approximately equal to 1186.93. Of course, that's more than a thousand because the bond trades at a premium, its coupon is higher than the current market yield interest rate of 5%. The coupon is 6.5%. If using the BA2 Plus um, Pro calculator, you enter the following to obtain this value. Uh, and the value comes out as a negative number. Uh, 20 for N, 5 for IY, 1000 for future value, 65 for payment, and compute present value. Note that the bond is effectively a bond paying a coupon of 50 plus maturity value of 1000 trading at par plus a 20 year annuity immediate of 15 valued at 186.93. You can see that immediately because of course if there was a 5% coupon the price would be uh, 1000. Recall that the Macaulay duration of an annuity immediate paying uh, with certainty for n years paid m times a year with each payment equal to 1 over m is 1 over d upper m minus n over 1 plus i to the nth minus 1. And that's there's a proof of that in my study manual. You should know this formula for the test. For the annuity of 15 paid annually over 20 years under 5% interest rate, uh, with m equal to 1, this gives the Macaulay duration of this annuity as 1 over d minus n over 1 plus i to the nth minus 1, so that's uh, d is equal to 0.05 over 1.05, so this is 1.05 over 0.05 minus 20 over 1.05 to the 20th minus 1, that's approximately 8.902965. On the other hand, uh, for a, a risk-free bond with principal value of $1 maturing n years from now paying an equal coupon of i upper m over m, m times a year, at the end of each mth of a year, with i upper m being the value of the nominal annual interest rate compounded m times a year at the time of bond issue trading at par, its ma Macaulay duration is um, a double dot angle n upper m. In this case, the bond with 1000 par value and coupon of 50 trading at par is a multiple of 1000 of such a bond, with n equal to 20, m equal to 1, i upper m equal to i equal to 0 0.05. Thus, the Macaulay duration of this bond is a double dot angle 20 at 5%, which is 13.085321. And the Macaulay duration of the entire portfolio is the market value weighted. Um, average of Macaulay durations of individual pieces, so that's 186.93 over 1186.93 times 8.90, uh, That's the, that was the Macaulay duration of the, um, um, of the annuity uh, 15 piece, plus 1000 over 1186.93 times the 13 Point oh eight five three two one that we just calculated, and that's approximately twelve point four two six six four zero four, which is answer D. Please remember this is copyrighted material. The problem was created by me, and the solution is mine. 
All rights reserved, reproduction in whole or in part without express written permission from the author is strictly prohibited.